Okay, so the best footballer in the team, that would have to be Marcus Ebden. Probably technically very, very, very good Marcus. Very gifted. If you're having a nightmare in training, he'll tell you as well. Because he knew he was far superior to anybody else as far as technical passing, receiving. Um, but yeah, definitely Marcus, probably one of the best players I've I've seen on a pitch in, in my days at Chesterfield as a footballer and played with. Uh, biggest joker has to be uh, David Reeves. Absolutely nuts. If you could break the world record for cracking jokes and doing pranks in a minute, I think Reeves would have been the world record holder, hands down. You, could, you don't, wouldn't even say go into the toilet or the loo. You go into the toilet at the loo and then you hear a sound and you look up there, there's Reevesy doing another prank. So, biggest joke could definitely Reevesy. Best dancer, that's a tough one. Definitely me. Um, a distant second, probably Kevin Davis. And that's a distant second. And probably not in the picture at all, Andy Morris could move his top half of his body but footwork not the greatest being a big man. Worst music, um, definitely Daichi and ma the majority of the squad apart from myself, Andy Morris, Chris Perkins and Kevin Davis who all like the same music R&B but nobody likes our music so everybody else's music was rubbish in the change room. Uh, in need of the fashion police, probably I don't know whether you remember him, Paul McGugan when I first joined, me and Andy used to travel in with him um, when I first joined and Paul, I think he used to look at Andy sometimes, I'm sure he'd not looked in the mirror before he'd walked out of that, out, out of that house, he'd just chucked on whatever to go to training, uh, but no disrespect, Paul, you were probably the worst, worst dressed uh, player that we had in the squad. Um, who was the fastest? Um, depends what you mean by who was the fastest. I'd say over 10, 15 yards, me personally. Uh, once you get any further than that, those with the longer limbs, like Jonathan Howard, probably next as you're going out further than. 10-15 yards and then over a longer distance you're probably looking at uh, Perks who could tram around that, that track quite quite well and then Kev wasn't bad over 10, 10 yards, Kevin Davis but I still I was still quicker than him so I'd definitely say me over 10-15 yards that, that was me. Um, teacher's pet, easy one, the man that uh, coming part time um, Tom Curtis, who was at Loughborough, but still doing his university degree, um, and he not wasn't teacher's pet because he was doing that. He was just probably called him. Used to call him probably this, the son of John, John Duncan. John loved him, and so he was definitely teacher's pet. Always first to arrive. That's a difficult question to answer because myself and Andy Morris were never first to arrive. Um, but I'll get on to that, so I, I couldn't answer that. Uh, worst trainer, thinking back, we didn't really have a, a worst trainer. Um, when you look at how we, we used to play and train, we, tra we, we worked hard, trained hard, um, well drilled. If you didn't work hard and train hard, there was no way you were getting in that first 11 or even in the squad. So you could never think about anybody being a worse trainer because you had to be working to 100% max every training session as you like I said you're nowhere nowhere near the squad or the first 11. Getting round to uh, who always arrived last that was uh, myself and Andy Morris to training or to the to the ground now I'm going to put all the blame on Andy Obviously me and Andy used to travel in together and just to give you the picture, even if we were running late, I'd turn up at Andy's door, walk through the door, what was Andy doing? 
preparing his breakfast when we should be on his way to training or he was eating his breakfast uh, when we should have been on the way to training or Mark or Julesy have a look at this this video uh, you need to have a watch of this it's funny before we need to, before we go to training even though he needs to get to training so it's like time had stood still in Andy's house 